For decades, chronic flooding has been an issue for people in the Waynedale area. With a major flood control project now completed, the city hopes it's a problem those neighbors will never face again. News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner joins us live from the Waynedale neighborhood with more. Sarah. We're at the corner of Fernwood Avenue and Daleview Drive. Now, this area has been underwater dozens of times over the years, but it was a flood in the spring of 2013 that led the city to fix the problem once and for all. The high water events sometimes are very devastating. They can cause not only a lot of damage, but they're psychologically damaging for those people who live here and have to watch their homes being flooded time and time again. Three, two, cut. With the cutting of a ribbon comes a wave of relief for neighbors. We can relax now, not worry about the water. It's a good feeling. Marge Norton has called Fernwood Avenue home for the last 56 years. This was home, and we raised our children here and just wanted to stay. Her home was flooded twice, but she's watched her neighbors clean up many more times. Like 20 some inches of water in their homes, and the furniture just floated around. So it's hard to see if see that happen. And then when they put it all out in the curb, you know, for it to be picked up and all your memories and things are gone. Six homes used to sit in this area, but after they flooded multiple times, the city decided to buy them and tear them down to make way for the project. The city spent $480,000 on that purchase and demolition. Then an additional $420,000 added in the berm and stormwater pipe. The 1,800-foot berm acts as a levee and holds the water back when it floods. The new larger 24-inch stormwater pipe helps the water flow out faster. And it's going to be nice that the people, when the storms come in the spring or even in January, okay, is the fact that they, they can rest assured that there will be quite a bit of protection against having future floods. The mayor also tells me that everyone that had to be relocated from those six homes that the city tore down for the project still lives in the neighborhood. Reporting live from Wayndale, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.